In this video, I will show you how to track and view page not found errors in Google Analytics 4. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GE4, then consider subscribing to the channel. When a visitor goes to a page that does not exist on your website, they get a page not found error, also known as 404. This is one of the examples of situations where people struggle on your website. And your goal here would be to identify those pages and fix broken links. Let's take a look at how can we track and identify 404 errors with Google Analytics 4. To track page not found errors, first you need to check what is happening on your website when that error occurs. For example, here, let's say that I land on a page and that URL does not exist. I mean, there is no page for that URL. Then that error is displayed on a page. It might say something like page not found, 404 or something else. So the first thing that I would do in this case is to check the title of the page when you are on that page not found error. In my case, I am lucky and I see page not found words in the page title. So if you are in the same situation, you don't even have to do any additional configuration in Google Tag Manager or GTag because you will already be able to see the list of all those errors in your reports. So if you can distinguish based on the page title that this is a 404 error, then you can go to your Google Analytics 4 report, go to reports, then engagement, pages, and here you should make sure that the dimension that is selected is page title. Now I will click this, and then this report will display all URLs based on the page title. And here in the search field, I will enter page not found and hit enter. If you want to see what kind of page is it, I mean, what is the URL, then you can click the plus right here to add a secondary dimension, then choose page screen, and then select page path. And for some reason, I cannot see any data right here, probably some bug in Google Analytics 4. But don't worry, because we have a plan B, we will create our own custom report with that 404 data. So let's go to Explore, then click blank. And then let's add dimensions and metrics. First, let's start with dimensions. So I will click plus. And here, I will first of all use the event name dimension. And then I will add several page related dimensions. So you can add page and then use these page path, page refer and page title, click import and the metrics we can add plus and then either use event count or views. In this case, I will use event count, click import, and then let's build our report. So first of all, I will double click the metric to add it to the report. And then as dimensions add page path, so I can double click it, and then I will add page refer. The reason why I added page title and event name is because I'm going to use them in the filter section, because right now this report will show not only page view data, but it will show the data of all events that are in your property, such as clicks, video events, and something else. First, I want to narrow down and to see the data only coming from the page view events. And that is why I will create a filter by clicking here and I will select event name exactly matches page view and then click apply. In order to use some dimensions in filters, you must have those dimensions right here. That is why I used event name. Now the next step is to narrow down only to those events that are related to page not found. And in the standard report, we found out that page not found errors always have these three words in page title. That is why we're using this dimension and I will include it in the filter. So I will click here, page title, contains, and then page not found. You can click this suggestion if you see it and then click apply. And now we have narrowed down only to those page views that happen on the page not found page. Currently, when I'm recording this video, you cannot change the size of the columns. So if you want to see the full values, you should then hover your mouse and see what is the URL. Also, the reason why I added page refer is that it can show us the previous page from which visitor landed on this page. If these values are empty, it means that visitor landed directly on this URL 
and there was no information about the previous page. So maybe the visitor clicked some link that did not have UTM parameters and the link was somewhere in the PDF file or maybe something else. Or maybe you have some bot traffic that just tries to scrape the website and uses various gibberish values. But if you have some broken links in your page content, then you will see the URL of that page in the page referrer column. If you indeed see that, then what I would do is that I would go to that page and then find that broken link and fix it. And that is how you can check your page not found errors in Google Analytics 4. But you might be dealing with a different situation where page title does not say anything about the page not found error. So the question is, what should you do then? One of the approaches could be that you can ask a developer to push an event to the data layer when that page not found error occurs. A sample code could look something like this, where the developer just needs to push an event that can be called 404 or page not found or anything else that you find useful. And when a developer says that the data layer push code is implemented on a site, you should test this. To do that, go to your GTM container, click preview, and then enter some URL of the non-existent page, like testing or something like that. Click connect. Then on a page, you will see that 404 error if the page actually has it. And in the preview mode of Google Tag Manager, you should see that error somewhere right here. For example, in my case, that error is page not found. There's nothing else, just the name itself. And now I could use this as a condition to send a custom event to Google Analytics 4. So first of all, I would need to go to triggers in Google Tag Manager, then click new, trigger configuration, and then select custom event. Here I need to enter the exact name from here without quotation marks. And then let's add the name for this trigger. Click save. Now let's create an event tag. By the way, in this lesson, I presume that you already know how to install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. But if you don't know that yet, then I will post a link to another tutorial below this video. While I am in the tags section of GTM, let's click new, then tag configuration, GA4 event, and then I will select my existing GA4 config tag. Then in the event name, I should enter something that clearly describes that this is a page not found error. So it might be something like 404 error or something else. Then in the triggering, click anywhere and select that custom event trigger. We are not sending any additional parameters because what is important for us in this context is the URL of the page and Google Analytics will track that automatically. So let's name this tag and then click save. Now let's test if this is working properly. I will now click the preview to refresh the preview mode. And once it is connected, then I should go to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager and I will see the page not found event. I can click it and I see that my tag has fired properly. This is the name of the event. And to see the URL of the page, I should go to Google Analytics 4 debug view. In Google Analytics 4 interface, click configure, then debug view and then click on the page not found error. Once you do that, then one of the parameters will be page location. And this is the URL of the page where that error was tracked. Now let me quickly show you how to build a report based on this configuration. So let's go to explore, click blank, then in dimensions, select event name and any dimension related to page like page location, page path, basically a dimension that tells us the URL or part of the URL where that error occurred. So let's use, for example, page path and then click import. In metrics, we can use event count, click it, import it, and double click it to add it to the report. Then I can double click the page path to add it right here. And then in filters, I want to narrow down only to those events that are 404 error as it is displayed right here. So I will create a filter where event name exactly matches and then 404 error. Currently, I don't have any suggestions because not enough time has passed. In fact, after you implement this 404 error, you will need to test this, publish it, and then check your exploration reports within the next 48 hours. It will take at least 24 hours, but in some cases it might need 48 hours to start displaying some data right here. So now if I click apply, it will not work because only several minutes have passed 
even though I should wait probably for up to 48 hours. But I just wanted to show you the example of the configuration. In general, the report would look something like this, where you just have page paths. And if you see the list right here, while well, the filter is enabled, then it means that on those pages, people are landing, but they get the page not found error. The reason why I removed this right now is just to show you a general example of how the table could look like. And that is how you can track page not found errors with Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, you hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.